Hello and welcome to St. Mary's Now, a partnership between the Enterprise newspaper and the Forest Center TV video production program. I'm Louis Bowes. And I'm Katrina Walcott, and here's the latest news from the Enterprise. Don Murphy, a bus driver who drives routes for multiple schools in the county, said I and several others will not be driving. This refers to a demonstration that bus drivers in St. Mary's County plan to participate in on April 23rd. They say they do not plan to drive students to and from school. The hope for the demonstration is to increase the hourly pay of bus drivers in St. Mary's County. Murphy has spoken at multiple school board meetings this school year and says the bu that bus drivers pay should increase from $15.75 an hour to $20 an hour. She has also gathered 450 signatures from other drivers and community members who support the pay increase request. There is a new requirement for federal identification cards that may directly affect air travelers next year. The Real ID Act was passed by federal lawmakers in 2005, which stated that it would set standards for the issuance of sources of identification. Maryland's Department of Transportation reported last month that the state MBA has added thousands of open appointments and information for citizens to get their new identification cards. The deadline of October 2019 for the new cards will dictate whether you will be able to board an airplane or visit a federal government facility. Options for developing a community center in St. Mary's County were presented during a joint meeting Tuesday between Naval Air Station Patuxent River and county government officials, which would make a partnership between the Navy, YMCA, and the county more likely. Robbie Gill, CEO of the YMCA of the Chesapeake, gave an overview of the YMCA on Tuesday morning. He stated individual YMCAs are tailored to each community's needs. African Americans who were once enslaved in St. Mary's County lay in unmarked graves at St. John Francis Regis Catholic Church in Hollywood. The church held a special memorial mass on April 4th to remember the enslaved who have been buried at the church for about 160 years. A commemorative marker that sits next to the church reads, dedicated to the memory of those unknown who were enslaved and buried in the Archdiocese of Washington. The weather on Monday at Leonardtown High School was nice up until the sixth inning of the smack baseball game between the Raiders and the visiting Northern High School. The game was tied 3-3 through the first five innings and the two teams were set for a grand finale, but thunder and then lightning sent fans scattering and both teams into the gym. The game was eventually canceled and there was no completion date as of right now. This news brief has been provided by The Enterprise. For more details, visit somdnews.com. That's all we have for you on this edition of St. Mary's Now. I'm Katrina Walcott. And I'm Louis Bose, signing, signing off. off.